Teats. The Bay Area's Jackie Spear, 44 years ago, she was left for dead on an airstrip in South America after an ambush. Scott McFarland spoke to Spear about that experience and how it would ultimately shape her future in Congress. Decades before coming to Congress, Jackie Spear was lying on a deserted airstrip in the small South American nation of Guyana with five bullet wounds. I was on that airstrip for 22 hours without medical attention. On the ground? On the ground. Congressman Leo Ryan of California is dead, shot along with four other Americans. Spear was then a 28-year-old congressional staffer on a fact-finding mission with her boss, California Congressman Leo Ryan, at the People's Temple compound of leader Jim Jones. After the visit, as they sought to return home, attackers dispatched by the cult leaders assassinated Ryan and shot Spear multiple times. Many of us thought we were just going to you know, die there. I was thinking that you know, no one would ever know. My family would never know what happened to me. Shortly after, another horror unfolded when hundreds of men and women in the People's Temple died in an act of mass murder suicide. The scene at Jonestown assaults the senses, almost defies description. Spear, gravely injured, was on the ground a few miles away, praying for the arrival of a rescue chopper. I think it's informed everything I've done. I mean, it's made me into a fighter and to not take no for an answer. I do. Congratulations. She fought for and won Leo Ryan's old congressional seat in 2008. One of the biggest things about Jackie is it's not, it's not about fighting for political ideology. It's, it's fighting for people. Erin Ryan once served as a staffer to Spear. She sees something wrong and feels a, a, a compulsion, a need to do something about it. Erin Ryan is also the daughter of Leo Ryan. When you describe the congresswoman and you describe your dad, it sounds like you're describing the same person. Yeah. I am. I, absolutely I am. Spear would gain notoriety for two fights in particular. She secured a spot on the House Armed Services Committee after learning about serious flaws in the system to protect service members against sexual assault within the ranks. From her position, she would grill military officials. Sexual assault and harassment will not be tolerated. We pay your bills. We fund you. The game is over. And in 2017, amid an emerging sexual harassment scandal on Capitol Hill, it was Speer who testified and detailed a pervasive culture of unwanted advances. I have had numerous meetings and phone calls with staff members, both present and former, women and men who have been subjected to this inexcusable and oftentimes illegal behavior. Republicans have bristled at some of Spears' other ideas and tactics. Her maiden speech on the House floor elicited some boos as she railed against the Iraq war. We could be in Iraq for a hundred years. But Madam Speaker, history... And it was Speer who first pushed the idea of invoking the 25th Amendment against then-President Donald Trump in 2017 after his response to the white nationalist rally in Charlottesville. Speer, who faced death in the jungle in 1978, says she committed to her family a few years ago to finally step away from Congress to remain full-time in California. To leave the seat she and her former boss held for nearly two decades combined. Everyone looks at Guyana as this horrific, yes, it was horrific, but my God, I had a second chance at life. And it's made me fearless, um, which I probably would not have been had I not had that experience. I mean, when you look death in the eye, you are not afraid anymore. And Representative Aspire made an appearance in Foster City yesterday to announce nearly $17 million in federal funds for her district.